First on Fox area ministers and the NAACP are stepping into the controversial work zone assault case that was first exposed by Fox 2 and all new tonight. Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes has another update in this developing saga that's already seen many twists. A South County work zone assault now has the NAACP and ministers from the Missionary Baptist State Convention of Missouri seeking answers. There's a truth, and we're seekers of that truth. No one disputes an assault here on Lindbergh and Lee May Ferry Road the night of September 26th. Road workers claim to Fox 2 it was started by an off-duty police officer who drove into their coned-off zone. Then three of those workers were arrested and charged with the assault. We've reported all week how the workers have questioned the police response. Now this group of civil rights leaders have their own questions. NAACP St. Louis President Adolphus Pruitt. The only person of color on the scene was the off-duty police officer, and he was the only one that was detained by police for a moment of time. Road worker Garrett Gibbs also reported the off-duty officer had been cuffed and that the road workers were never even questioned. Absolutely, I would have given a statement if it was asked. Now ministers like Reverend Dr. Lyndon Bowie say they have to find some of those missing pieces. Wherever it lies, that's what, you know, we don't just fight for people that are our color, we fight for truth. They say the off-duty officer made an innocent mistake driving into the work zone at about 10.30 that night and that one of the workers banged on his car with a flashlight, leading the officer to get out of his car. A police probable cause statement accuses road worker Matthew Devlin of using racial slurs while allegedly hitting the officer with a helmet. These civil rights leaders say they've learned Devlin also allegedly spit on the officer. We've also asked the uh, FBI, local FBI, to... Uh, take a look at the situation and we're asking them to consider uh, to escalate it up to some federal hate crime charges. They also dispute the workers allegation the officer was intoxicated, saying they've learned he passed a field sobriety test. Here's Reverend Philip Duvall. We also have a duty as ministers of the gospel, as civil rights organizations, to use our platform to ensure that everything is still done fairly, equitably, morally, spiritually. All three road worker defendants have bond reduction hearings next week. The off-duty officer, who police are not naming, is back on the streets. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.